sunlight down there is incredible because you get to see animals go about sort of what they do in perpetual sunlight in 24 hours. Generally, if you have nighttime, if we've got an instrument on an animal or it gets dark out, you can't work. And so for me, I'm a very visual person. A lot of the stuff that we do is visual, looking at whales, following them. So to have the constant sunlight in the summertime is pretty remarkable. Perpetual sun is a lot easier to film in. Is this as dark as it's gonna get? And the crazy thing is like, you come out of your tent and it's two in the morning and you have to put your sunglasses on because it's so bright. But due to the perpetual sun, you get sunburned. You have to put on gobs and gobs of sunscreen. The atmosphere is thinner there and it just adds an extra challenge. You can't put enough filters on your camera because it's always so bright. It's kind of a blessing and it's a little bit of a curse too. Yeah, I'm confused now with the time actually. I think it's morning. And the deceptive thing, you don't know it's after midnight because it's always light. Perpetual sun's probably harder than perpetual night to deal with because to get routines and, and patterns into your life, you can be awake at two o'clock in the morning and it's like a nice warm summer's day, so you end up going for a walk and suddenly all your routines gone away. Whereas winter, it's actually a little bit easier to get into a normal daily routine. Double layer for comfort and extra warmth. To be able to wake up at 3 a.m., 2 a.m. and it be bright sunlight is quite an unusual thing. But what you see and what you hear in those hours is quite special.